Reality without anime. Hello, welcome back to another video. My name is Noble Love. I wanted to talk about this hypothetical thought that I recently had, which is life without anime, like reality without anime. I'm a firm believer in the multiverse, and I honestly think that there are many different possibilities in the different realities that exist. And maybe some people don't think of reality that way. Maybe there are some people that just don't believe in the multiverse theory or, you know, just the fact that there's only one single universe in the entire world. Anyone's entitled to their own opinion at this point in time, but I've just recently had this thought out of nowhere is like, what would a reality of having no anime be like? Now, it, just the concept of anime, if it didn't exist, what would that be like in that reality? Would there be different kinds of animation still? Because anime Anime being defined as it is, anime is a shortened version of animation. The word anime derives from the word animation. So if you're really thinking about it, what would that look like in a reality where anime doesn't exist? Would animation still exist? And this begs the question, what people would see as entertainment if anime had not exist? Would they still be in tune with just having illustration? I mean, I'm pretty sure manga would still exist, but would anime have existed? And how do people really get through life without anime? Because there are a lot of anime, either good or bad, that have inspired a lot of people, have genuinely saved the lives of people, like I discussed in one of my past videos. What would that be like? What my interpretation of what I think it would be like would be somewhere along the lines of people just producing a lot of illustration. I honestly think that with the whole AI art generated kind of stuff, people still love sharing art and art exists anywhere and everywhere, whether it's animated or whether it's live action. In recent days, there's been this new live action adaptation of Avatar The Last Airbender, which isn't an anime but it's somewhat like humanity would still derive from live action series things like dramas for example that don't require any sort of animation well nowadays they kind of do mainly because of the fact that people just love animation and so thinking about it that way life without anime would probably be be very dark, I, I can imagine, because there is a lot that goes into anime that people don't realize. You have people's livelihoods on the line if you just take that all away. There's so much that goes into it. Sound designers, they just go away that produce the soundtrack for these animes. The animators themselves would just vanish. They would probably become something of the past where their sole intention in life is somewhere else. Their field goals would definitely change, obviously, because they're not animators anymore. Animation and anime just don't exist. So what would they be? They would either be second in line for whatever they have planned in their lives, or even just doing art, but it would just be illustration art, similar to what you see in manga or light novels. Whether you prefer one or the other. It honestly depends on the person themselves. Life without anime would also take away a fan base. I mean, you would not have any anime expos. You would not have any sort of gatherings for anything Japanese related. And I think without anime, obviously, it derives from Japan. Knowing that fact makes it so that if anime had not exist, we probably wouldn't have been able to connect so well with Asian countries or even just the fan base there. We would not be able to connect with people that you know have inspired a lot of other people and that's not to say that we wouldn't have ever come across asia or even japan to be exact we probably would have just been able to meet japan due to the fact that there have been wars based around japan you have so many interesting history regarding any country that you look into in the entire world but anime really helped bridge the divide between between westernized countries 
and Eastern countries. It really did. And without that anime, it would just cease to exist. And I honestly can't say much more how impactful anime has become in this day and age. Who knows if anime will become still impactful even after a hundred years. Because anime... I know it's been existing since early 1900s. I mean, if you really look into how old anime is, it's pretty old. If you really want to go really far back for animation's history, it literally traces back to the 1800s. There's so many interesting history facts that you find about animation but going back to anime it's more or less a thing that people either grew up watching or did not grow up watching i know there are some animations that my parents grew up watching but they've never been introduced to anime or at least if they have it was through me when i introduced it to them they were like we don't get it but cool you you enjoy it that's something you enjoy you know it would take away a lot of enjoyment in a lot of people's lives whether you know that anime helped you get over a breakup like i how how i mentioned or if anime is like the biggest thing you despise because someone you just did not like liked anime so maybe that's like good in a sense for those kind of people but honestly i think it would have more negative effect than a positive effect and that's just me thinking about it in a way where there are so many attributes to anime that inspired so many different series i mean you have the good example of avatar the last airbender which is getting a live action adaptation which i honestly don't kind of agree with but looking back at the original it was heavily inspired by anime it's not to say that avatar the last airbender is an anime because it's not it's a westernized cartoon and cartoons are a lot different from anime anime has a very poppy feel to it 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 feels almost ethereal in a sense that it has its own style and there will always be that certain style of what anime derives from avatar the last airbender isn't an anime mainly because of the sheer fact that nick loading was not agreeing with the whole adaptation of what anime looks like because they wanted something that the west could be proud of and they really were and avatar is one of the best series of all time especially in animation i would definitely say that to this day but it's not an anime mainly due to the fact that the art style is a lot different from what traditional anime looks like if you think about it that way if anime had not existed I still think there would be this version of animation that would pave the way to something else other than anime. I think there would be a lot of this different kind of animation that isn't anime but has its own feel. So I think there would be this different theme of what anime would have been, you know? And that gets me thinking, like, what could that be? Because it can still exist in our realm or our universe, our reality. That version of anime can still exist. And anime still evolving over time. Now you get more of 3D-based anime where it's still 2D, but they're putting in a sense of 3D features within anime, whether it's on the foreground of a scenery or whether it's someone just holding a pencil and drawing picture it's evolving so it's still anime but without that without anime being a part of reality i think it would have been a lot more dark but also there would be a different version of what anime would have been if it wasn't in the style that we see today and so that's my whole thought process on what life without anime or a reality without anime would look like let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions on this topic i would really love to see how people think anime would look like if it wasn't how it looks to us what kind of different reality would we have seen 
if anime had not existed or if it was called something else other than anime. I still think that a lot of illustrations still would have existed and animation itself probably still would have existed, but it derives from the word animation. So now you're just getting into something that's just so open-ended that there's so many possibilities. Hence why anime is such a good topic to talk about because there's so many different construing topics that you can just talk about endlessly and i absolutely love the fact that anime exists because i don't think i would be able to do this let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions on this topic i have been noble oath with that being said i will see you guys in the next one take care and peace 